Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. On October 20, 2021, dispatch was contacted regarding a choking baby. Upon arrival, a 19-day-old baby, Thaniel Bills, was discovered in critical condition. The baby was transported to the hospital in Las Vegas, where he ultimately died. The Nye County Sheriff's Office was contacted regarding the conditions of the baby's death, and due to one of the suspects being under Sheriff Eisenhoffel's daughter, I made the decision to turn the case over to the Nevada State Police Investigations Division to avoid the appearance of impropriety. On July 26, 2022, a warrant was issued for Angela Garini Bolt, Erica Eisenloffel, and Daniel Bills. These three individuals were charged with open murder and child abuse in the death of 19-day-old Thaniel Bills. My deputies and state police officers arrested Bills and Garini Bolt at their residence. Erica Eisenloffel was arrested in Las Vegas by state police officers and is waiting transport to Nye County. As the undersheriff, I wanted to make a statement regarding the arrest of my daughter. I have had virtually no contact with my daughter for more than two years as she has chosen a life of narcotics use and criminal activity. The day the Nye County Sheriff's Office was notified of the baby's transport to the hospital and subsequent death was the first time I became aware that my daughter had delivered a baby. I had never been inside the house where Erica is living and was not even aware that she was pregnant. I believe in the justice system properly handling all criminal cases, including this one, involving my daughter. In fact, I myself have been the reporting party for her prior criminal activity that has ultimately led to some of her previous arrests. Any insinuation that because of my position, Erica will receive preferential treatment is absurd. I have always ensured that our office treats Erica like any other person and her numerous bookings into our jail demonstrate that. My daughter is addicted to narcotics and as is the case for all families destroyed by this horrible addiction, our family is suffering grief on a variety of levels. My family and I grieve for Erica and her addiction and we grieve substantially for the death of that poor baby that we have never gotten to know. Nevertheless, it is our hope that justice will hold these three accountable just like it should in every other case. Erica Eisenloffel has been arrested several times by the Nye County Sheriff's Office prior to this. Her arrest history is as follows. On 3-31-2020 for possession of a controlled substance. On 9-28-2020 for possession of a controlled substance on 12 20 21 for child abuse and neglect on 7 7 22 for probation violation drug addictions destroy thousands of lives every day no one starts out with the intention of becoming addicted to narcotics but when they do it has the same devastating effect on their lives and the lives of their family are you addicted to narcotics there is hope. Call 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.